Lime, written by Joy Keller, illustrated by Ashley Bolote. Miss Allen Slime. Victoria Franken was a slime scientist. She loved her slime. Her slime, Goop, loved her back. He bubbled with enthusiasm when they experimented in the lab. He oozed contentment when they read science books together. He bounced along happily when they walked Igor in the park. Yes, ever since the stormy night Victoria brought Goop to life, the two had enjoyed their time together. When Valentine's Day rolled around, Victoria made 20 slime cards for her school friends, a doggy bone card for Igor, and one extra special card for the slime. As she admired her cutting and gluing, Victoria realized something. She had lots of friends. Goop only had one friend, her. That didn't seem fair. Luckily, Victoria had an idea. Igor, we must experiment. Victoria and Igor gathered materials, snuck into the attic, and locked the door behind them. If Goop couldn't make a new friend, Victoria would make a new friend for him. She considered using her favorite slime recipes. Sniftastic flower slime? Mouth-watering chocolate slime, magical fairy slime. Hmm, none of these seemed quite right. What ingredients would make a perfect friend? Igor, something smart. Igor, something sweet. Igor, something fun. Now all she had to do was wait for a lightning storm and zap, her creation would jolt to life. She waited and waited and waited. Victoria sighed. It looked like lightning wouldn't strike. She would have to take matters into her own hands. Igor, fetch me some wires. After tinkering and tuning, Victoria was finally ready to hit the switch. The slime foamed and froth, it splattered and sparkled. It sent a cloud of sugar into the air. Victoria held her breath as the glittery, gooey creature crept over the side of the beaker. This was it. She had done it. She had made a friend. Uh, oh, the slime was still growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Before long, it was stretching all the way to the ceiling. Victoria had to do something fast. Igor, pull the plug. But the slime kept growing. She tried to catch it. Igor, the vacuum! But the slime would not be contained. She tempted to freeze it. Igor, ice cubes! But the slime wouldn't stop. Victoria and Igor slipped from the room as the slippery, as the shimmery goo filled the attic just as it started to squeeze out the door after them. Kaboom! The giant slime burst into 10 regular sized slimes. Victoria and Igor stared in shock. What had she done? She hadn't made Goop a new friend. She had made him lots of friends. Victoria introduced Goop to her latest creations. The slime quivered with happiness. From that day forward, Goop and the other slimes 
spent a lot of time together. They did their own experiments. They played slime games. They taught Igor new tricks. Goop was thrilled with her new friends. But that didn't change the fact that Victoria would be his, always be his best friend. He loved her and Victoria loved him back. And that's the end of the story. But there are three slime recipes for Victoria's three favorite slimes. Do you love Valentine's Day? I love Valentine's Day and I love Valentine's book. Valentine cat, mouse loves love. I am love. All these wonderful Valentine books. Do you have a favorite Valentine book? Let us know in the comments what your favorite Valentine story is.